I'm Greg Owen, motorcyclist and lawyer. I've been riding, racing, building, and collecting motorcycles for the past 40 years. During my time as a professional motocross racer in the 70s, I decided to give up my racing career and become a lawyer. I did that to help other riders who had nowhere else to turn. Over the course of my 30-year career, I've represented hundreds of injured clients and resolved their cases for more than $900 million. My goal is to tell the history of motorcycling in America, one bike and one rider at a time. Well, we have a gray Harley Davidson here with some beautiful striping on it. What year is this? This is a 1915, extremely rare motorcycle. <laughs> This has a two-speed rear hub, which gives it the ability to kind of overdrive, essentially, modern-day overdrive. If you notice, the front forks are similar to the, some of the earlier bikes. I do, I do. Springs inside. V-twin, and we've gone from a single cylinder, which is the earlier two bikes, uh -huh. to now a twin cylinder, where Harley got its V-twin from. So, when did Harley start making that V-twin, if you know? You know, there were prototypes as early as 1911, 19 early 1910 that weren't available to the public. 11, 12, they moved on from there. So, in looking at this bike, it obviously has been restored. Somebody did a beautiful job. Um, how old is this restoration? This restoration is about 10 years old. Um, you know, we haven't talked about market values, but just to give the kind of the public an idea. Well, I'm very interested. All right, a 1915 in this condition restored is about 50 to 55,000. Wow. Wow. Well, the other thing is, you know, again, we have most of these motorcycles in this country, and people around the world are going to see this, and um, they'd like to know. They'd like to know if they want to buy one of these, what they're going to pay. So I have to assume if there are so few of these, they're going to appreciate in value. Oh, absolutely. Just year after year, right? Absolutely. So M Money in the bank. Might be safer than uh, real estate at this point? Or the stock market. <laughs> or the stock market. I am interested in this two-speed transmission what you said is essentially an overdrive. Could you point out to me how that works? Well, it actually is a two-speed rear hub. So in the rear hub, they have um, a two-speed, essentially. And you've got the, the mechanism up here for low, neutral, second, high. Um, this is the Cadillac of that era. It is. Yes. I'm looking at those uh, running boards and the rubbers on them. Are those original? Or can you tell? I cannot tell. Um, there is a couple on the earlier bikes that are original. Uh, these are in pretty nice condition. They've probably been replaced at some point. What we haven't talked about is the package tray. Oh, please tell me about that. Again, another factory accessory. Uh, earlier we talked about the buddy seat. Right. And essentially you take off your package tray You'd snap on your buddy seat, which would have been another factory accessory. Oh, I see. And, and a package tray is what it obviously means. It, you put your, whatever you're, you're buying at the time. You're or delivering uh, a package or taking a package home to the family or luggage or whatever you're going to store on the bike. That essentially would be the location you strap it to. I, I got to I still find these early lighting systems just fascinating. Uh, and they work. That's the crazy thing. This bike has a magneto. Oh, it does? It does. It's ah. prior to the generators. Generators were a few years after that. Yeah, but they're going back to magnetos on a lot of these bikes. Well, they are on the race bikes. Right, on the race bikes. Yeah. 